hi you guys hey welcome back to my channel if you're new here i want to let you know that i appreciate you clicking on the video thank you for watching so we're just about to do a simple slay and i'm gonna start off by priming my brow with my elf brow and lash mascara it's a dual dual end product guys um so i'm using both ends i usually do because to me I get about a better outcome when I use both ends. The pencil that I'm using now guys to draw my brows or shade my brows rather is the LA Color Eyeliner and Brow Pencil in the shade black. Then I went back in with the Elf Brow and Lash Mascara just to get everything uniformed just to blend everything you know blend out the pencil a little bit and i'm going to use my nyx number 14 brush along with my nyx can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade caramel to clean up the brows because y'all know we want our brows to snatch we want them looking good you guys so there it is we're cleaning cleaning it up beautifully now I'm going over top of the brow with the same brush, no additional product is added. I am just using what's a whatever is left over from me doing the bottom portion, you guys. So there it is. I am just cleaning it up beautifully. Then I went back in with my elf brow and the lash pencil. Now you guys, I am just going to set my um prime my lid using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in said shade you guys. The brush that I'm using to blend that all out is my Real Technique 421 Soft Accent Brush and I'm just using it guys to blend everything beautifully into one you guys. So guys let's just blend, blend, blend you guys because blending is key. Now those two brushes I bought them from the dollar store you guys and the palette I'm using is my OPV palette and the first shade I'm using is called Public Eye so let's dip in Public Eye to use as my transition shade you guys. This palette is very pigmented I must say so I'm just going to blend that all over the lid blending it in my crease and I'm also going to take it a bit higher than my crease area so guys all you need to do is just blend it so this brush does not do the do when it comes on to blending so I switch over to my NYX skin um, NYX professional makeup blending brush and I'm using that to brush it all the way under my brow bone now guys I'm going in with the shade all that sparkle and dazzle night to deepen my crease so I'm just deepening everything because I'm trying to get a deeper outer V so I'm just adding the product guys and blend as I go so guys like the whole thing about makeup is blending once you blend the products guys trust me there is not much to do like all we need is a seamless blend so that guys is a highlighter that I bought at the local beauty store it's the NK Makeup Perfection Highlighter. The shade is 24K Gold. So I'm going to use it on portions of my lid. Look at that color, guys. Like, look at that gold. That gold is definitely golding. Like, I am in love with it, guys. 
it kind of reminds me of the Pat McGrath um, new highlighter. The one that looks gold, gold, looks rich gold. This one remi reminds me of it. The only difference is one is drugstore and one is not. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Big Mode Mascara to prime my lashes for the fuzzies. And y'all already know the lashes I'm using is the Kiss Triple Push Up Collection Lash. I'm not sure what um, the style is because I, I've been wearing that for a while. Then I'm going to prime my face now with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is my holy grail primer you guys like you guys if you don't have it like i would suggest you getting it because it's it's very easy on the pocket and it does the do now i'm using my black opal foundation guys this is my very first time using it and i have two shades the two shades i have is 420 nutmeg and 520 is a nut and the shade i was gonna mix both shades guys but i decided not to so i chose to use nutmeg instead 420 nutmeg and it pretty much is pretty much matches my skin tone so y'all know i'm going back for my next skin so i won't stop considering the shade caramel to highlight my under eye and other portions of my face Go back to the foundation guys i bought it at my local beauty supply store in canada i bought it at chloe and it does what it's supposed to you guys beautiful and look how the concealer blends onto that now i'm going back in with my i am um, selling powder it's the HD Flawless Press Finishing Powder. The shade is Brightening Banana. And the company is Absolute New York. So, this company is new to me. But honestly, you guys, I love the press powder here. It does what it's supposed to. Like, it gives me somewhat kind of an hairbrush finish now I am going I went in with my age perfect satin glide eyeliner pencil the shade is 102 brown and that's from L'Oreal Paris guys and it does exactly what it said it is it glides on easily you guys so I'm going in with my big mode mascara and my Tart um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to line my under eye. Then I went in, guys, with my blush from the Sephora Collection palette. And uh, I used the pinkish shade. I was in love with it, guys. So now I'm cleaning my lips up because I'm about to use my pencil and the pencil that i used guys was my nude by nature pencil in the shade o2 brown to line up them lips guys this pencil is oh my god y'all can see y'all have seen me use this several times this pencil is worth it i bought it's bought at shoppers drug mart here in canada but I'm in love with it. Y'all know how much I love my Oda Beauty lip contour pencils. This I love just as much, you guys. Look at that blend. See how it blends out beautifully? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going in with my gloss. And the gloss that I'm using, guys, is my Morphe Lip Oil in the shade Fairy Tale. And I'm going to spray my face now with my e.l.f. setting spray, my e.l.f. oil control primer mist. And, yup, that ties everything into one. Now I'm using my uh, sponge that I bought from Sheen to, you know, just push the setting spray 
and the products that I've used into the skin just to give myself a more natural look you guys look at that simple yet gorgeous and it's a quick makeup look to you guys I hope you guys try doing it I'll be looking forward to seeing you create this look thank you guys for watching God bless y'all